Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a cool functional equation problem I want to solve. We want to find with proof all functions f defined from the non-negative integers to the non-negative integers such that f of f of n plus f of n equals n plus n for all non-negative integers m and n. Do pause the video and have a go at this problem, but I'm going to dive right in here. The first thing we're going to do is kind of the standard thing. We're going to plug in some numbers to try and work out the value of f at certain value. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and work out the value of f of 0. So I'm going to call it a. And so if I substitute uh, m and n are both 0 into this, I get f of f of 0 here, which would just be a, plus another f of 0 is another a, equals 0 plus 0. So in other words, f of 2a equals 0. OK, cool. Next thing, I'm going to plug in m and n both equal to a. So m and n equal 2a into the equation and then I get f of f of 2a plus f of 2a equals 2a plus 2a. But remember f of 2a is 0 from this so we get f of 0 plus 0 equals 2a plus 2a is 4a but 0 plus 0 is 0 and we've got f of 0 on the left hand side but f of 0 by definition is just a. And so we get a equals 4a, and this of course implies that a must be 0. And so therefore, we've worked out that f of 0 is 0, which is super, super useful. Now we're going to use that to try and work out some information about f at general, in, in general at other values. So if we plug in maybe n is 0, but keep m the same, so we get f of f of m plus f of 0 equals m plus 0. But we know f of 0 is 0, so I can ignore that. Um, that's just 0. So we get f of f of m equals m, and this is for all non-negative integers m, like so. So we know that if we apply f to the function m twice, we get uh, m again. Amazing. Let's clean this up and continue. Cool. So we know that f applied to m twice gives us m again. Um, which is quite nice, but doesn't precisely give us what f of m is just yet. Um, but we can do a little bit more work here. What we can do now is substitute in n is 1 and see what happens there. So we get f of m, uh, sorry, f of, f of m plus f of 1 equals m plus 1. And again, m is just an arbitrary integer here. And we get f of m, f of f of m plus 1 equals just m plus 1. And well, we, we can call f of 1 something. Let's just give it a name. Let's call it b. And so we have f of f of m plus b equals m plus 1. But now what we can do is take f of both sides. And we get f of f of f of m plus b equals f of m plus 1. But remember, f of f of m plus b, these two f's cancel out because remember we said f uh, composed with f is just the identity function. So we get f of m plus b equals f of m plus 1. Or in other words, f of m plus 1 equals f of m plus some constant number. And now what we can do is apply induction on this, um, noting that if we combine this with this fact over here, we can combine this and say that f of some number k is just going to be k lots of b. So just to illustrate this, maybe just uh, show you the first few cases. If we just sub in m is 0 into this relation here, we get f of 1 equals b uh, because f of 0 is 0. If I now plug in m is 2 into this equation here, uh, sorry, m is 1, sorry, into this equation, I get uh, f of 2 is f of 1 plus b. But f of 1 we worked out was b, so it's just b plus b, which is 2b. And you can check using a similar argument, you get f of 3 is 3b, and inductively you're going to get f of k is just k times b. Amazing. Now what we're going to do is just apply, and this is true for all integers k, or all non-negative integers k, and so if I apply f again on both sides, I get f of f of k equals f of kb. But f of kb, because of this result here, that's just going to be k times b squared. And so we have the f of f of k is k times b squared. But from earlier, we have the f of f of k is just k. 
and so we have that k equals k times b squared, and so therefore b squared must equal 1, and since b must be a non-negative integer because of the constraints in the problem, we have that b must be 1. And so if b is 1, we can substitute that into here and we get that f of k is simply k. And so the solution to this problem, the only function that satisfies this, is the function f of x equals x for all non-negative integers x. A nice little functional uh, equation problem, not the easiest, not the most difficult either. I think a pretty, pretty nice one if you've not seen these sorts of problems before as to kind of the common techniques uh, as to how to go about solving one of these sorts of problems. If you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me grow the channel and helps it uh, be recommended to new viewers. And with that being said, also do drop a comment down below as well. That, that helps as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.